So g'day and welcome back to another coin video. So today is Australia Day. <gasps> oh no, it's Invasion Day. Maybe it's Australia Invasion Day, Invading Australia Day. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, oh damn, ended up in the rubbish. So hopefully I've offended anyone and everyone because that's what I like to do. Ah, uh, so talking about Australia Day, um, or Invasion Day, we're going to talk about a country that's eventually going to invade Australia. So, ooh, look at these Chinese coins, because we know someday China's going to invade Australia. It's going to turn us all into kimchi, and we don't have anything to talk about it because our masters say so. So, anyway, if you're still on this video and you haven't been offended, well, good luck to you. So here I have uh, coins of China. And, uh, well, if you know anything about China, they like to control the population. <laughs> yeah, that's what country doesn't. Just need to watch videos on the internet to know that every country wants to control its population. Uh, that's basically what civilization is. So, uh, get, yeah, anyway, we're not going to talk about politics. And we're going to talk about these coins. So these are currently circulating coins in China. They are not the current issue, because in 2019, they did issue new coins of 1 gel, 5 gel, and 1 yuan. All in either stainless steel, nickel-plated steel. So these coins are nickel plated steel. And over the past uh, 30, no, 40 years of China, they've issued various denominations. In well, I've only got two different issues here. So 1955, they did issue the one and the five fin. And in 1956, they issued the two fin. So here we have one. By Finn from 1988. And these haven't been produced since 2000. And the one Finn was last issued in 2018. I'm not sure if any later issues are. And the value of this one's equivalent to one cent. So the denominations lower than that are worth less. Wages in China have increased rapidly. And, well, these are basically worthless. So this is the coat of arms of China. There's uh, the Tiananmen Square, I think it's the palace. And the stars, communist stars. So it's in Tiananmen Square. And curious fact is that the script is in traditional. It's not in simplified, which China adopted. And you can tell that by the letter of guac. So this means country, which is a traditional character. And we just have the denomination on that side with uh, in Latin or Arabic numerals. So this is Western Arabic numerals. And we have it in Chinese. Quite nice. And the oldest coin I've got here is a 1979. So we don't know the mintage figures for most of these because uh, China doesn't issue mintage figures for their coins. We have the large aluminium one Zhao. We have the small aluminium one gel and the large aluminium one gel is issued in 1991 to 99. This one started in 99 to uh, 2003 and in 2005 they issued the steel coin which is the same as the aluminium coin just made out of steel because steel lasts longer in circulation. Aluminium damages pretty easily. So you can see the damage on this aluminium coin is quite extensive. And this is the flower series. So we have the pinion uh, lettering on the back. So it's, oh yes, yeah, it's got pinion. So pinion is just uh, a transcription of the Chinese. So it's just this Chinese down there transcribed into Latin. So it's still in Chinese. It's not in English or any other language. And these ones are all pretty common. Then we have the 
five wu jiao five jiao or in cantonese m jiao and these well i don't have the early versions which are first issue 1980 they're pretty hard to get so once again these were issued in uh this was issued 1991 to 2001 this started to be issued in 2000 so a lot of times the chinese coins have uh two different issues of the one date so this one is 2000 they issued two of these in 2000 and with the one gel we can see that these two are two different issues but they're both dated 1999 and this is not unheard of and most of the time in the series, uh, China does it. And the most common is between these two series. Uh, in 1999, uh, they just issued the one you won in both different formats. But they're pretty similar. So, this is going to be your coat of arms of the future when China invades Australia. So, I think the more common one is this coin. Probably a high minted, but also this one. And China does have different different mints. I think it's got four mints, but they don't put mint marks on their coins, not like in India or the United States. And here we have the one new one. So once again we have the two different dates, 1999. Well, no, not two different dates, the same date on two different issues. So this is the older one, the coat of arms, and the flower. This has the flower on the back. So this, this will be the coat of arms issue. This will be the flower, because that's the predominant image on the back. So these two are still legal tender. And the current coin they use is just a modified version of that. So I think all the uh, writing and the numerals are smaller. And this is nickel plated steel. It's worth about 20 Australian cents. And they're pretty common. Uh, I've got a whole heap. Get them. Yeah, I've got a whole heap of these coins because we do have a lot of Chinese uh, students in Australia, and they do bring a lot of the currency. But knowing a lot of Chinese people, uh, they say in some places because all these denominations have banknotes as well. In some places they use the coins, and in some places they just use the banknotes. And currently, there's a switch over to electronic banking. So a lot of them, not paying card, but paying via your phone or another means like that. So, uh, and these two coins are actually, I think this one's more common than the older series for the 1999. Uh, Numister has statistics about how many people and then they have this one at a higher rate. So, that is the current Chinese coins. They're actually not too bad. Uh, now, I've got a whole bag of these. And my wife's going over to China. So, I'm just going to dump it on her so she can actually get the coins. Just go and spend them in China. Basically, these are pretty much not high value. Pretty much just exchange rate value. Uh, so, like, this whole set, I'll probably try and sell for $10. Someone wants it for 5 bucks. it's alright. Uh, these ones, yeah, probably $5 or less for the lot. Nice coins, one gel. But, if you keep them in your pocket or that, they're just going to get all damaged. Anyway, hope this helped you with your coins. Thank you. And, I'm going to make another geology video on the Shepparton Formation. Oh, sorry, wrong channel. God, I must be a bit drunk now.